Welcome, welcome back, Entertainment Daily Lovers. We are here with info about coral babies, kids, and what people online are trying to do. So, after listening to this, this is going to actually shock you. But after listening to this, I want you to drop a comment, drop your thoughts. Let us know what you think about this recent happening, this revelation that we just got. And um, let's let's just hear your opinion. That being said, welcome. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to Entertainment Daily here on YouTube. And also turn on your notification. Catch up on the playlist if you're really interested in Koro Bidi and Mr. Koro Bidi's case. Turn on your notification and catch up on the playlist. There you'll find live streams and also videos. Now, let me quickly add this. The channel is monetized. So yeah, Super Chat and Super Thanks is also welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right, so subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into the main gist right about now. Okay, so Koro Bidi lately, if you've been watching Koro Bidi, Koro has been advocating for positivity. Why is it that people are dwelling so much on negativity, telling people to focus on positive that she doesn't even, she even had to at some point tell people that used to inform her about certain things to please stop informing her that she's always blocking anyone that is doing negative stuff. So people should please even trying to tell her that she's been discussed here or whatnot, that people should leave her out of all of that that all she wants is to be positive and no drama and nothing like that in her life okay so so something else i want to also bring to you those of you that don't always watch because it's hard to catch up with everything cora is doing because cora is one content creator that streams a lot on facebook cora will stream several times in a day if she can so sometimes if we're telling you a stream is recent by the time you're going to click on it she might have done three four five and that would have pushed the particular one we're talking about down but one of cora bd's recent uh live stream or uh, was where she was doing like laundries and trying to sort out wears and just having a chit chat you know with her fans talking about everything about herself and just having a fun time and also explaining to them why she was sorting out wears talked about how as a parent do you like sorting out your kids clothes in the night before the day for school so it makes it easier that she likes doing that that she feels like it makes it easier so in the morning you're not running around looking for what they're going to wear extra clothes for the bad you know just talking about uh parents you know uh, mom life if you if it's mostly the mom if you are the one that sorts out your kids and prepare them for school mostly in the morning or you know so she was just uh, having that conversation then we also saw where cora and the kids were baking when they were trying to make different stuffs so cora has been very active with her kids you know, where she after they had a bath, she was trying to get them to say something where they were brushing out their teeth or stuff. But uh, the point I'm saying is, Cora's been showing the kids for a bit now. If you remember, for a while they had stopped uh, them from bringing the kids online. So after that case, after the case was over, I believe they ruled that they should, because she even said it on, in one of her live stream that the court said they are able to show the kids, but you just have to be careful, you know at your own discretion so she said she's going to be more careful at what she's doing but it is allowed because some persons were worried like the kids are showing and people are trying to make a big deal but anyways getting into the nitty gritty i wanted to lay the background for you so you understand where this is coming from okay so because cora has been showing the kids baking with the kids cooking with the kids doing fun stuff with her kids you know talking about her kids there is just this person that felt like the person knows too much and the person wants to do the most so this particular person wrote a um posted something online saying and there's no way cora is feeding her kids muffins that someone should please give them the address to cora obedi's kids school and she actually mentioned the first child okay june and she said people should tell her where jay i'll refer to cora's first child as jay people should tell her where baby jay's school is that they need to know where that place is so then this person now went for i guess after posting that first post people did not respond probably immediately the way this particular person was actually thinking and from where we got this gist from the person referred to the person that wrote this post online as a she so i'm guessing it's a she why i'm saying this is because seeing the profile photo of the of the person person's name was blood so i can't tell you from the name if it's a female or male but also the profile photo doesn't say if it's okay because it's just something something that is there as the person's profile photo okay fast forward 
Uh, after the person put, I guess people did not rush on uh, fast online to come and respond to her. So the person went on searching, doing a Google search, Google map. They start trying to put two and two together, probably trying to see where Cora is staying in LA and or trying to search for schools around that area to see probably schools within walking distance and then maybe schools within driving distance and whatnot. And then the person pinpointed a particular one, screenshot that uh, map and then posted it again online and said... Uh, uh, is it is this the school you know referring to a particular school uh and people were yet to actually respond so the person now wrote another uh post saying that they should please tell the person the name of the school and the address and give that the full information should be posted you know should be written either the, under the post or should be posted online so they will know that she wants to go to the child's school that's called Robidi's child school. She wants to go to the child school and find out if the school serves food. Because what Koro Bidi is giving to the to the child or what she sees that she cannot even believe that that's what Koro Bidi will give to a child to take to school. So now, my question to you that is watching this particular video is, don't you think this is going beyond content creating or just Putting your mouth in other people's matter when you start involving little ones, don't you think it's becoming too personal? And do you think Cora Bidi should just sit put or sit this one? Because we've noticed and we've seen that Cora have actually sat and ignored so many things that has happened. For example, the lady that came out, which is uh, Mr. Cora Bidi's bestie or ex bestie, that both of them now fell out. They were now calling each other scammers, liar, thief, and whatnot. But Mr. Uh, Mr. Koro Obidi's ex-bestie from the UK, y'all remember that recently she had posted calling on all her supporters to actually write a petition against Koro Obidi, writing or calling to the British police, telling them to stop every investigation about Cora, Cora's UK attack. That is just false. Also urging her audience to write another petition to the Mexican government, telling them that Cora's job is to go to countries and try to tarnish their image. That that's what Cora is. And she sounded as if she had a meeting with Cora Obidi. Okay. And while the ex also came out posting some old stuff saying that Cora has done these things before. So he doesn't think that Cora was actually attacked. You know. So I feel like everything that is happening to Cora, there are always people out there that plays down on what is going on. I really want to see how Mr. Cora Obidi and his besties and his group members are going to play down on this that someone boldly came online posting and asking for the address or the location of where Koro Bidi's first child school is just because you feel like what you saw Cora showing on her live stream as the meal for the child you think it's not the best forgetting that the child is Cora Obidi's child so at the end of the day Cora Obidi will always Consider her child before anything else. So don't think that you can love the child more than the mother of that child. So I feel like this person has already overstepped their boundaries. And if there is something that she can do, she should do it. Because I feel like if nothing is being done, more people will feel the right and think that it is within their right to approach that little child wherever they meet the child, wherever they see the child at school, at the playground, or anywhere at all that they can find the child. If the parents are not available or even close by, they are able to approach that little child and start asking the child silly questions just the same way the Muzungu, that Oyimbo that was the friend of Mr. Koro Bidi, was asking actually you know asking the child uh those silly questions on those videos uh that popped up online so please i really want to know what do you think should be done in this case do you think Cora Obidi should actually get investigators or get people to investigate and fish out those people because the person that posted this online said someone screenshot and sent her that post and they had already blurred the person's name and she said when something is this serious and I also agree with that content creator that said that when something is this is this serious do not blur the name of the person because if they had put out that person's name I believe a lot of people would have gone on that person's page seen what the person posted screenshot it and then report the page or do the necessary stuff call if it's on facebook call facebook attention to it if it's on youtube call youtube attention to it whatever app it is instagram twitter 
TikTok, anywhere. Call their attention to it. Let them know that these are children we're talking about, okay? Under five years old. These are kids. And we know how protective every country are about little ones. You just don't post about them. One, you, this person wrote the child's name. Two, this person didn't stop at that, but actually screenshot an address of a school and posted it not even caring that this person is risking the life of that little one. And how do you say you're supporting somebody or you love somebody and you do this to their child? Make it make sense. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications.